how to make $700 a day on Shopify, right? So what's up, y'all? So I want to add something new to the channel that I really, I really don't really speak about, but I'm going to start speaking about it uh, now. Um, and, you know, I know I on this channel, I mainly post, you know, my real estate journey, you know, I touch on certain topics, uh, but I don't really talk about what I do on a day to day or what I've been doing like in the past, like two to three years. So I've been a digital marketer. I've been in the digital marketing space for about four to five years freelance though. But in recent, in the past year or so, I actually got on with this, uh, digital marketing company to where we help scale clothing brands to six and seven figures monthly. So I say that to say, uh, you know, I've kind of been doing that for a while, but nobody really knows or anything. And so I've kind of been doing the digital marketing thing for a while. Um, but let's, I want to go ahead and get into the business, right? So how to make at least $700 a day on Shopify, right? So, and clarification, if you are on this channel, for a drop shipping game, politely walk away. This channel is not about drop shipping. Um, personally, I'm not a supporter of drop shipping. Uh, more not not more so because it's saturated, but more so because uh, drop shipping. I personally feel that uh, if you're gonna drop ship, you need to be drop shipping to focus on building a brand from whatever you're trying to drop ship rather than trying to find a winning product and wasting a whole bunch of money on ad spend when you can just focus on one particular thing that actually works and build an actual brand from there because long term it's not really a real sustainable business but that's neither here nor there <laughs> so as you guys seen in the thumbnail um you know I've had like, you know, I've been working with several clients over the past four to five years, uh, you know, working with their different budgets and uh, running their Facebook ads, running their TikTok ads when it comes to scaling. And one of the things that uh, works um, is the customer having the right pricing of their particular product. I'll give you an example. When you guys are, you know, trying to sell, you know, low ticket products on Shopify and you're running ad spend towards it, if you don't really have an ads budget, it's going to be very hard for you to actually scale up and actually make, you know, even just a simple $300 a day. You know, if you're selling a $7 product and you're running like a, unless you're going to run like a hundred dollars a day on ads, you know, it's going to take a lot more sales and a lot more awareness for you to generate um you know three hundred dollars and seven hundred dollars a day unless it's like you know just a hit product like on tiktok or something but ideally when you more so focus on you know a brand like so and this is so for clothing brands um you more so you know start doing bundles for at least anything over a hundred dollars or even shoes and charging over a hundred dollars it makes you know the profit margins and the scalability a lot easier the higher higher the product cost or not not the higher the product cost but the higher the product actually is and how much you're charging for it the easier it would be when it comes to actually starting the whole advertising and whatnot so I'll give you an example when it comes to so let's say you're selling a 200 dollars product a 200 dollars bundle package or a jumpsuit or a $200 shoe. <clears throat> if you were to go on your Facebook or even TikTok and start running ads at a budget of $100 a day broad interest or even $200 a day, that return is going to be significantly a lot higher than you doing that same ordeal for a product that costs seven dollars unless the product is an actual hit product which in most cases it's not but and also the right creative i know a lot of people tend to you know say they do their research this that and the third when it comes to uh running ads and honestly guys if you're creative it's trash 
your ad your ads are not gonna convert and your product's not gonna sell. It's point blank period. And it doesn't really need even need a lot of thought when it comes to running ads. You know, the screenshot that you guys see me in the thumbnail, that particular one was actually like uh off of uh a picture. So you know, and now we're and we're doing that daily right now. Now, of course, you know, on this channel, I'm not gonna get into the specifics of who my clients' brands are, because it's confidentiality. I'm not even gonna get into you know breaking down certain ad strategies and whatnot. But if you guys do want to learn Facebook ads, I do actually have an online course that you guys can buy. It should be in the description. It should be like on my Gumroad platform or whatever, and teach you guys the basics. Uh, Facebook ads and whatnot and scaling with them. But the biggest thing is, you know, once you secure a budget, the main thing you want to do is, is build a strategy. Focus on strategy. Once you focus on strategy, you'll be able to scale up, 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 up with no issues, no problems or anything. The only thing you have to do is just you have to focus. You have to actually put in the work and get it done. So... But that's essentially how you'll make, you know, around 700 and up a day. You know, ideally charge higher for your product, whether it's a physical product or even a digital product, and go right into it, running a sales campaign uh, around like, you know, and, and ideally try to make your budget, you know, $100 a day. Because, you know, Facebook's AI is getting a lot smarter, and with it getting a lot smarter, uh, the more money you put pour into Facebook, the more money you'll relatively make quicker and faster. But even if you don't convert, you at least have data. That way you know what works and what doesn't work. So ideally, focus on high ticket product. Make or at least make your product make your pricing reasonable and also make it to where you know it's scalable. You know, the more your product costs, the easier you make six figures when it comes to running your uh, your ads. It's simple as that. And then, of course, you know, if you want to, and we, we're not even touching on just the retargeting and whatnot, you know. Of course, you want to have, you know, your email campaign, sending out email blasts and things like that. But you also want to have uh, SMS set up. You also want to be, you know, retargeting those people after you secure the first sale. So, because, and then also retargeting the people who don't buy. You know, if you're running $100 a day on Facebook, and, and this is also something too. When it comes to uh, what a lot of gurus were teaching years and years and years and years ago, like, I think in, in 2020, running a $5 day Facebook ads is not going to help you or help scale your business in no way, form, or fashion. It might work still on Snapchat, but on Facebook or TikTok, it's not realistic. And honestly, if you don't have more than $10 to spend on Facebook ads, you might as well just, you know, stop running ads altogether and just focus on getting a real budget. Because honestly, so let me also give you guys some real insight. When it comes to running Facebook ads or things like that, um, the cost of people purchasing leads is going to get a lot more expensive as it has been getting more expensive since like 2016. So these things are going to continue to be more expensive and get more expensive over time because everybody's using the same platform to make money on auto. So the big thing that you need to do ideally is to get a big enough budget i recommend you know starting off with a budget of at least two thousand dollars and getting right to it when it comes to sale if you're trying to get sales go ahead and drop you know start spending a hundred dollars a day on whatever you're trying to sell and ideally you know you should have some revenue come in now most people are probably going to watch this video and probably going to be like you know you know i don't know what i'm doing uh i don't know what the target because interest is important too um, and you probably want some help. Now, if you're one of those people, feel free to check, look in the description and book a one-on-one -on -one free consultation with me. And I will see what me and my company can do 
especially so if you're a clothing brand, we can definitely help you. Um, ideally, we kind of want you to already be doing ten thousand to fifty thousand dollars a month, but you know we can make some things work with people who are just starting out. Ideally, if you're starting out, it's gonna be a lot harder. Um, but we can help. But also for other businesses who need you know lead generation or don't want to do the whole social media ordeal, DM me. Uh, or just you know click the book a little, book a uh, consultation free consultation with me and we'll get you squared away and we'll work on some strategies on how we get you to the next level um, and essentially get your uh, store your Shopify store on auto pay like you know just to where it's banking 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 and of course we're gonna charge you too but yeah so that's essentially how you make you know seven hundred dollars plus a day on Shopify. Uh, and realistically, for any of you guys who are, you know, building the brand on Shopify, focus on actually building the brand rather than building and focusing on drop shipping. Because realistically, drop shipping is not it. Now, if you, you know, find a one hit wonder on drop shipping and you find a couple winners, do you. But at the end of the day, the reason why you see most gurus transition from drop shipping after they, you know, they have a few consecutive good months. It's because it's not a good business long term. The money is more so into teaching people how to drop ship than it is actually drop shipping. And only a select few people are actually making real money drop shipping. And those people actually have a budget to afford it. But the longer you wait, the more expensive it will be over time. Hope this helped you guys. Please like this video, subscribe and share, and let me know what you guys think about this content.